Oh, my God. I've done something so stupid, so foolish. And, you know, I should have known better because it's happened before. You know, we're always afraid of burning our tongue with hot things, soups, macaroni and cheese, coffee, burning the tongue. And you go, it hurts like you know what. Well, today I burnt the back of my throat. I don't know why the sensors didn't even block the hot stuff from going down. Oh, my God. Right here. Do you see it? Oh, man. How are you doing? You doing good? Oh, this world that we live in right now. 60 minutes last night. Uh, did a big story on Ukrainian women held as prisoners of war. The men, not the women, are being raped. If you've got a body tattoo and you're involved in this war in Ukraine, they're going to rip it off your body. This is what's going on in the world today. And what's become of this place? This is difficult to speak of. I've reached out to my connection in Ukraine, Mr. Joe Lindsley. These crimes against humans are violations that poison multiple generations. So how do we prosecute the violators? Here he comes, Mr. Roman Avramenko. Let me say it again, Roman Avramenko. I want you to look him up. I want you to reach out to him. He heads the Ukrainian NGO Truth Hounds. He documents these abuses. The bigger question is going to be, who should be held responsible? Is this how Russia is really playing these war games? Or is this the Wagner group, like the German Nazis? How can the world step in without having to spend billions of dollars on more weapons of destruction? We're just learning about Roman right now. The truth hounds. Let us all unite in peace and healing. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I don't think that I trip across people like Roman and the Truth Hounds. I think they find me. I don't know how it happens, but I think they find me. The subjects we talk about on The Daily Mess, it's the universe coming this direction because the universe knows that I'm coming to you afterwards and we're going to talk and we're going to have a conversation. This is The Daily Mess. David Byrne of the Talking Heads really came clean with something that a lot of creative people tend to hide from. And, and, and I hope that there's something here that you're going to learn from because it's time to stop being the hider. David Byrne from the Talking Heads facing the future as someone he didn't agree with. He took huge chances. When you get this close to the story about an artist... It didn't happen during the flood of his success while it was unfolding. All creative people have those inner stories about personal changes and challenges. We hide behind the victories and do all we can to rip down the defeats. We don't want people to see that kind of stuff. And then one day, you get to talk about it. One day. I've talked with so many comedians that use their laughter to force their frozen souls into an area of light rather than darkness. Actors pull from their personal journeys to invite life to the roles that they're playing. In just a matter of minutes, I'm going to be talking with YA author Jade Adia, who has taken her experiences from the streets of South L.A. and put it into a story for young adults, whose neighborhoods are changing all too quickly. Facing the future as someone you don't agree with. Who are you on social media versus a world of reality? How often do you speak with the image in the mirror? Does it ever reply back? Being transparent. Being very real. Arrow is my radio name. When I do things in public as a performer, Arrow is, is the name that I, I, I travel with. At my essential job, the real world, there is no Arrow anywhere near me because Arrow doesn't play that game. And first of all, before we go any further, if you think I'm the only one that does this, you're absolutely insane. So when I put on my team jersey at the essential job and I look at the name tag and it says something else other than Arrow, it's a change of personality. But it took me 40 years to get there. 40. To be able to accept that name tag in the bathroom mirror. 40 years. 
Why? That's what the daily writing is all about. That's learning how to deal with those people that you don't agree with. So when I read this and heard this about David Byrne of the Talking Heads facing a future with somebody that you don't agree with, you do take those chances. It's not that you're trying to run away from them. You're just trying to replenish your fields of creativity with an image and a character that you believe best represents who it is that you are as a creative. It's time to step away from those moments of hiding because I did it as a kid. You didn't see me outside playing with others. I didn't do things in groups as a child because I didn't understand the creative energy that was moving through me. And so I elected, just like many musicians and many poets and authors, you elect to stay in your bedroom and do what it is that you do because only you know that it is you. But then you put on the plastic candy coated bathroom mirror smile and you enter the world. <sighs> if you only knew how much the outside world of my life changed in 2010 when I came out of the Christian closet, meaning I spoke openly about a relationship with God, people ran. They wanted nothing to do with it. It was my hidden secret. It was my rock that I buried myself underneath as I was growing forward. Creativity is no different. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.